Hey everybody, it's your girl Indy B. Hey, what's up? This is Meg. It's your boy Trey, and we're here with the beautiful, talented Paloma Ford. What's up, guys? All right, so let's get into it. Um, now, I know you're a very talented woman. Tell us what drew you into the music industry. I've been, um, I've just been a lover of music my whole life. My father introduced me to music very early on. And, um, you know, I, I used to watch Michael and Janet, especially Michael, though. Um, I had like recorded tapes that I would just watch over and over and over again, Moonwalker. And it was just something that, you know, I just always knew I wanted to do it was never like a second, you know, thought. So I know that you have been working with a lot of big artists. You work with Snoop, Rick Ross, Tori. Um, what was the process like for you working with them? Um, well, I was just explaining this the other day, but I think what's so cool about everybody that I've worked with, it's always been organic. It's always, it's never been like a force situation. Um, so, but each one of them is like completely different. So each one of them is definitely a different story, but I'm super honored uh, to have Rick Ross on my new project. Um, I've known him for a while, obviously from working with Meek and I've always been a fan of Ross outside of, you know, knowing him. And when we finished all the records, um, you know, we talk, we discussed whether we wanted to even have any features or just let it stand alone like I did for my first project. And um, I was, we, we kind of, well, I, me and my brother were like, if, if we had anybody, we would want Ross on All For Nothing because we just hear him. You know, I'm not, a, I'm not an artist where it's like insert rapper here, you know, it's, it's, it's gotta make sense. And he was, yeah, he was my only request and he was down so that was pretty pretty dope yes that's probably my favorite song on there right it is. that's Thank a whole you. vibe <laughs> yeah that, that's that's a that's a good one going off her question you already <laughs> worked with some highly respected artists are there any artists that you haven't collabed with that you would like to of course um there's there's lots of artists that i'd love to work with um Brent Fias, I think he's super dope. I think he's like underrated. Mm. Or maybe not. Maybe it's just like his lane and that's just like how he likes it. Um, but I think he's really, really dope. Um, I'm always so bad at this question. And then <laughs> I, um, why didn't I say him? Um, there's, there's actually, there's one specific artist that I'm not gonna name yet, but I actually just recently worked with, which was definitely on the bucket list. Um, so I'm excited about that, and that that that'll probably, hopefully, appear on the follow up to this. So, Ooh, be on the lookout. Right. <laughs> I'm, <a surprise> <laughs> I'm very curious about this one. Yeah, 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 yeah. The EP X tapes is really good. I felt Thank everything you. that you put into that. Um, of course, off for nothing with Rick Ross was my favorite song. That song was a banger. Your your flow went perfectly with Rick Ross's. Like, tell us what, what does X-Tapes mean to you? Well, X-Tapes, it, I mean, it, it's exactly what it sounds like. It's, you know, stories about an ex. Um, it's, it's, you know, the, the story of heartbreak. Um, I started writing X-Tapes. Space was the first record I wrote on X-Tapes. And that was actually before um, I was, I was still in a relationship at that point, but it was kind of like, this looks like the beginning <laughs> <laughs> and the heartbreak is starting to, it's like, oh, I'm starting to feel it in my chest. <laughs> um, <laughs> so yeah, I, I started writing X tapes before when I was still in a relationship, I, I started writing at my house and um, yeah, I just wanted, I felt like so many women especially can obviously relate to the situation, but I tried to write all my records so that men can digest it too and they can hear the message and not be like uh you know like like they want to listen to it too because it's a vibe you know so um that's kind of like how i i mean it's subconscious at this point but that's how i write my music it definitely was a vibe the whole ep was 
it yeah. definitely got me in my feelings. I Real felt enough. you. Yeah. So, yeah. Um, so what was the corniest or worst DM you ever got? Oh. <laughs> <laughs> this game is crazy. I could probably, you know, pay somebody a uh, rent for the month at least with <laughs> with all those. I don't even know. I mean, seriously, whatever. <laughs> the worst thing you can think of, just think about that. And that's probably what I've seen in my DMs. <laughs> it's bad. Y'all got to come harder than that, basically. She letting y'all know. <laughs> oh, man. It's uh, I can tell you right now that you will not be in any sort of um, communication, especially regarding personal <laughs> um, through a DM. It's just, that's not, no, it's over for that. Well, we tried it. Listen, I'm not going to, I'm not going to sit here and say she innocent because, you know, but no, 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 no. All right. So. <laughs> <laughs> she showed them boys out quick for real i didn't even know what to say to that okay <laughs> they have no chance sorry <laughs> None at all. You just hope you see her in person for real though nah for real and that's hard too <laughs> that's your outside how about that all right um because of covid19 uh the world has been on hold uh do yeah. you have any uh work that you wanted to put out but you couldn't um, this whole project has been, you know, pushed back like month after month, you know, just because <clears throat> uh, right before everything shut down in LA, we were getting ready to shoot like a few videos and, um, you know, all the production houses started shutting down. So we did shoot Night Nights I Cry with a really small crew um, and, you know, kind of just got through it. But yeah, it's, it's, it's. It was a great time to be creative and you know go back to the drawing board and figure out um different ways to engage people into the music but as far as just getting like everybody to work together all at the same time everybody's going through shit everybody's like you know just in their own space with this which is just understandable so definitely but um it's funny because I was just, I was pushing to have it out at the beginning of June and the fact that it's dropping like right around my birthday, it's just, it, it was supposed to happen, I suppose, so. <laughs> For real though, celebration. Right. Yeah. Did you have any tours planned? Like what could we expect from you in the future? We did, we, we were definitely planning to go on tour. Um, yeah, everything's just kind of like up in the air right now. And I don't know. The only thing that I can say that you can for sure uh, depend on for me in the future is more music. Um, I'm already working up, uh, working on a follow up to X Tapes. Um, yes, it's actually it's mostly done, to be honest with you, uh, wow. because originally I was going to do 14 songs and I just I just wanted the people to be able to digest this. I, I specifically chose these out of all the records that I have because I felt like they, you know, told a fluent story, you know, and so yeah, more music for sure. The fans definitely won't be disappointed with this right. one. Yeah, part two will Thank be good too. You. That's what I know, that's what I want to hear. It's, it's so, um, it's not really scary. But it is, you know, I, I've i been used to just kind of like putting myself out there. That's just been my whole, I don't know, my whole career. Like even when I worked with Meek, you know, that was just kind of by chance. And then all of a sudden it was his single. And then all of a sudden we're on the stage of Summer Jam, like no rehearsal, like just oh, only the scariest situations. I just <laughs> the fire. So um, but yeah, I think for me, I feel like this is so Paloma, like this is really like giving you a piece of me, which, um, nearly civilized was like a collection of the best songs that we had done over that course of time with, you know, with my producers. Um, so it was really important for me to tell a story and, and hopefully, you know, just really show my fans that have really been writing with me, how much I've grown and you know, everything from vocally to writing and uh, yeah, so really exciting. Could you give us like a hint of what a, what part two would sound like or? 
Yes, I can. Um, so part two is is the second half of you know what a what a bad bitch does when she goes through a breakup. You know, like this is me I'm feeling this right. <laughs> right. <laughs> I'm even here yet. Yes, you know this is. I wanted to make sure that I was vulnerable first because I feel like you know um, as women and in this time like you know we're so independent we're city girls we're this we're that and and that's good and that's I love the incredible strength that you know uh, <clears throat> all the young women have been have been showing the world but it's also good to and it's healthy and necessary to be vulnerable and and be soft and be um be a woman still and so that was like very very important for me to do first but um the next half of x tapes um will definitely show uh you know just just getting back to your own self and um and just yeah just being strong being a woman being um confident again and so that's what you'll see in the next half so i'm gonna save this so i can have it when i'm when i need it i'm about to to get my anthems popping for real though (laughs) so if you had to pick one song from x tapes what would be your favorite song and why i have two um gosh i don't know i have to i have (laughs) Um, All For Nothing is definitely by far my favorite, just my favorite overall record. Um, mm-hmm. I remember going into it, shout out to Dasmin. Dasmin, um, she's a writer, um, artist out of Cleveland and she came out here and we just got in the studio and wrote a bunch of records. But she, mo- she wrote most of this and um, I went back in and, and, you know, just kind of fit it to me. But it's just like, it gave me chills as soon as I heard it. And so when we went back in, I was just, I remember when we went in the studio and I was like, I told my engineer, I'm like, this is probably going to take me a couple of days. So just bear with me. And we was just in the moment and we knocked that song out like in a few hours. And it was wow. like, wow. yeah, it just like gave me chills the first time I heard it. And I had never felt that way about a record. So that's definitely the most special to me on on it, but um, rain is special to me because I wrote it completely by myself, just me in the studio with the engineer, and um, you know everybody's different. But for me, that was like I was like a really proud of myself moment. That's so awesome. very talented for real. Right, yeah, very talented. Thank you. You mentioned songwriting, so what do you think the most frustrating part of songwriting is? Getting whack ass beats. <laughs> Yikes! <laughs> right, you should oh say it was a For real, <laughs> Not for real though. No. Okay, I mean, and they probably like, well, shit, <laughs> you know. <laughs> this is, Yo, <laughs> this is not a tip for tat, but um, I feel like when you when you really get into songwriting and um, the music, you know, for me, like like for Rain. It was like, as soon as I heard it, I could just start writing. And that's how it is most of the time for me when I really connect to music. So I think that the hardest part about songwriting is finding, you know, the records to write to, to me. Right. That was funny. That was funny. She said about her whole chest, like she meant that. Yeah, she definitely meant that one. I I did, because you know what too, like, Sometimes um, producers be holding out on you and they'll be like, oh, they'll like hit me up like, Paloma, I really want to work with you. And I'm like, all right, cool. Like send, send me a folder. And it's like, this ain't your best <laughs> folder. Don't, don't try to it was a, It was a little pause for me. <laughs> <laughs> don't oh try my to goodness. write to one of your okay records to send me like your best shit nah send me your best shit like let's let's make a hit record together you know what i mean like yeah so we try to play games with you i don't know they, why she hard for they, real <laughs> right they playing games with themselves okay urge you <laughs> <laughs> do you have any hidden talents <laughs> No, I don't. Um, hidden talents. Hmm. 
I you like to like paint, I... dance, who? You know what I'm saying? Anything? You gotta have a hobby or something. Like anything that you like to do to get away from songwriting and, and singing. Yeah. yeah, it's not, I mean, it's not hidden talents. I def, my favorite thing to do is swim. I love to go swimming. Um, that's like my piece. Like I am such a fish. As soon as I get to somebody's house with a pool, it's like um, in it, hair, I don't care, just whatever. Like I'll figure it out later. Uh, so definitely swimming is like my piece. <laughs> I'm a mom. I don't know. I feel like being a mom is a super talent. Being able to multitask, having a um, you know full career in music in the entertainment industry, and still be present and be a mom. And um, so that yeah, that's my hidden talent for sure. <laughs> I would have went with that first. That's the hardest <laughs> job right there. So yeah, right. Really good, good balance everything. Kudos to you. Thank you. Uh, okay, so we always have this game we like to play. It's called Name That Song and Artist. Oh gosh, okay. <laughs> it's not hard, I promise. Well, sometimes it is hard for some people, but <laughs> <laughs> yeah, we'll see. <laughs> Whitney Houston. Who? Whitney Houston. Yes. Nope. And what's it called? <laughs> <laughs> yep. All right. So she's one for one. All right, next song. I've got trouble with my friends, trouble in my life, problems where you don't come home at night. But when you do, you always start a fire. Is that Monica? No, when they do. No. It, they do. Wait. Both are ends. I'll give you the hint. Um, and I know the song, so hold on. Shrek's wife is her last name. I don't know Shrek's wife. <laughs> you never seen the movie Shrek? That was any hint, like. That's a great hint. Y'all know Shrek, you know who it is, right? Oh my goodness. All right, I'm gonna just keep playing a little more. Okay. <laughs> What the hell? Why am I like blanking out right now? <laughs> no, I'm singing it. Who is it? Melanie Fiona. Oh my gosh. Wow. She really does sound like Monica right there. For real. But That's crazy. Fiona. Melanie. Shrek's wife, Fiona. Fiona, you're right. I, <laughs> I knew that. <laughs> I didn't see that movie in a long time. And it's called <laughs> Kills Me. Next. That was a good song. That was a great song. Oh, sorry, Melanie. I love her. Feels good. Tony, Tony, Tony. Yep. All right, two for three. Oh, sorry, Melanie. Damn. <laughs> Damn. Oh, can we talk for a minute? Girl, I want to know your name. Oh my God, wait, <laughs> who sings Can We Talk? Um, is that a No. Monica. Yeah, Monica. Of course. In title? Mm -hmm. Just one of them days? Close. No. Uh, don't take it personal? Yes. Yeah. yeah. All right. So we usually only do five songs, but this is a special song for you. Okay. <laughs> <laughs> She's so confused. 
for a hot second. <laughs> oh, you know who that legend is. I know that Stevie. <laughs> <laughs> All right, so five for six. I would say that's pretty good. You're probably like one of the best. Okay, okay. <laughs> I'm over here sweating. I'm not gonna lie. <laughs> <laughs> Is there anything else you want the fans to know about you? Yeah. No, I just you know I really appreciate the people that have stuck with me on this journey and welcome the people who are just now tapping in. Um, I'm, I'm just so grateful and I'm really excited for X Tapes to drop on Friday. So yeah, check it out. And like I said, um, if you can expect nothing more from me, you can definitely expect lots of music this year. So what, what, can, uh, what can the fans find you? Um, all my socials are at Paloma4.com. Um, and then you can find my music on all platforms. So yeah. Check have it a out. Gift coming on Friday. Right. Thanks for tuning in for this is RB Unfolded. Comment below and make sure I go listen to X Tapes by Paloma Ford. Yes. Love you guys. Thank you Thank so you. much. Thank you. glad you guys were able to listen you know before this and um you know get a preview because you guys are the first honestly to preview and give me feedback so this is a really Ooh. big deal for me. i feel honored yeah. <laughs> right yeah. yeah i swear sheesh i feel yeah, like i know a, a crazy secret that nobody else knows like yeah. that's really dope like congratulations thank you thank you